Now let's add some rotation animation to these objects. Select the null and click the button next to rotation to create a patch. And now here you can see if we just type in a number, that will rotate this null, but it only rotates it once. So let's set that back to zero. And instead, let's add a runtime patch over here. And what this does is count from zero up until infinity, essentially. And so it's basically the time since the filter was started. And if we try to input this directly, it doesn't work since this is a single number and it's expecting a vector three, which is three numbers in a row. So let's remove that and instead take this and add a pack patch. So this will take this single number and convert it into a vector three. So now we should be able to take this and put it right in here. And you can see it's canted the whole thing, but not a lot is happening. And that's because this is counting up, I think one every second. And so the degrees are changing one degree per second, which is very slow. And I think it'd be better if we s switch this to the Y axis. That way it's rotating flat like this. But that's not very interesting. It would take 360 seconds for this whole thing to do one rotation. So what we need to do is speed it up. And that we can easily do with a multiply node. So nothing has changed because we're multiplying by one. But if we change this to say 10, now it's moving 10 times as fast, which is still quite slow, but we could even change it to 50. Now you see we have this nice fluid animation that will just continue going forever. To make this even more interesting, let's duplicate this little diamond and put the new one inside of this other little diamond. And it's up a little ways because it still has this translation value. So let's set the Y down to zero and maybe make the scale 0.5 just so it's smaller than this other one. And let's set the X just to 0 0.1 so it's a little closer. Now, if we select this diamond, we can do a similar rotation as we did with this null object. So now we have the null rotating, which is moving this in a circle, but then this diamond's rotating, which make, makes this go in a circle around that circle. So we essentially have these orbiting shapes rounding around each other. And you could do this pretty much infinitely. You could have a tiny one around that and then an even tinier one around that. 